It's been a pretty wild year for Dokkan Battle so far. We've had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of controversies in the community, and I want to see where the current state of the game is today. So in recent news we've had more discussion about the version sync, we've had some more EZAs come out, and there's been a lot of general feedback on the recent end of the worldwide celebration, which in itself had a lot of ups and downs as well. To skim over previous events, the 8th anniversary was certainly interesting, but definitely could have been a lot better. There were also some weirdly timed Dokkan festivals like LR, Super Boo and AGL Kale. And overall the decisions made this year were questionable. Interesting but questionable I reckon is the best description. Throughout this year Dokkan Twitter has been absolutely ablaze with endless discussions over who to blame, what specific event is worse than another. Throughout all of this I've come to the conclusion that the developers are seemingly out of touch with the community. The community itself is quick to judge, it doesn't really take much for them to descend on a new release or something like that, like a pack of wolves. I mean, we all remember the reaction to Sword of Hope Trunks in part 2 of the Worldwide Celebration. A lot of people trashed him as absolute mid until a couple of people actually got their hands on him and tried him and they said, Oh wait, it's not that bad after all. Something that I think a lot of people will agree on is that this year, Easy A's were a major focus of controversy. Notable examples include Physical Super Vegito and Int Goku Black, and they were just subpar not able to compete with either semi-difficult or really difficult content in this day and age and overall just disappointing and you could see that on Dokkan Twitter like it was madness. But not everything was so negative after all recently in fact we've gotten more Dokkan original animations and units. Take AGL Vegito Blue, STR LR Gohan and now this brand new story unit featuring Trunks and Broly. Now a lot of people have tuned out of Dokkan story mode because it is... Yeah, nobody knows what's going on in that thing, it's it's crazy. That's where Legends has an edge over Dokkan, the story mode is just peak in Legends. But in regards to Dokkan story mode, they've seemingly brought back a lot of attention and hype to it with this one unit. Which is an absolutely fantastic decision to make. And it gives me some semblance of hope that they're trying to fix not only the story but some of the other mistakes that they've been making. But on the topic of story mode there is something else they need to address and that is the Dragon Balls because Shenron hasn't been updated for quite some time unlike Purunga. The only use these Shenron Dragon Balls have is for the beginning of the game. Other than that you're all good you don't need to collect them which I think is a big mistake. You look at Xenoverse 2 and there's actually some point in collecting them even in the late game so I believe this is a point of concern and is necessary to change. Much of the blame has been shifted towards one of the producers of the game, Omatsu, which I think is somewhat wrong because he's not really the creative director of the game, but then again I'm not really sure who to put the blame on so. I genuinely hope the rest of 2023 goes well for Dokkan as well as 2024. I'm hoping that they do some kind of change that really brings the community together and fixes a lot of the mistakes they've been making, but we will see. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below and have a good one.